And welcome again, dear friends, to the Wednesday edition of Fresh Bread. It is Wednesday, February the 9th, 2022, and hope you're doing well. This is Reverend Phil Anderson, he pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church here in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas. Again, we're always glad to have you join us, whether you're here locally or you're somewhere else here in the city of Topeka, in the state of Kansas, in the United States of America, or somewhere around the world. We're always glad when you stop in for this little five-minute cup of coffee that we call fresh bread. Again, uh, we're today looking at our lectionary readings from the New Testament this whole week. And today it is from the Gospel of Luke. We've been in Luke quite a bit here the last year. It's been our year C of the lectionary of ABC years. There's rotations every year. A, I believe, is Matthew. B is Mark. And C is Luke. And then the Gospel of John gets interspersed throughout those three uh, years. Uh, and maybe during Advent and Lent, other times of the year, we have the Gospel of John. Again, we, we know that Matthew, Mark, and Luke are what's known as the synoptic Gospels, which means they're all very similar. They have a lot of the same content, maybe from slightly different viewpoints, but the same basic ideas. Well, let's look today at Luke chapter 5 and verses 27 to 32. After these things, he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office. And he said to me, him, follow me. So he left all, rose up and followed him. Then Levi gave him a great feast in his own house. And there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with him. And the scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You know, if you watched the video series called The Chosen, you'll remember that scene, I believe, came in the 8th and final episode of season one, as I am thinking about it. And Levi is, of course, known as Matthew. And wow, <laughs> I'll tell you, it's, you talk about being despised. That was the, that was the tax collectors. They were Jewish people who had basically sold out to the Roman people who were occupying Israel. They were collecting taxes from their fellow Jews. But not only that, they were skimming a lot off the top for themselves. They could charge about whatever they wanted. And if you didn't pay, my goodness, you were liable to get severely injured or possibly even killed by the Roman authorities. They were known to be pretty ruthless. Well, Matthew was one of those chief tax collectors. And again, is known as Levi, but actually later was known as Matthew. And, you know, the great story here to me is how God can do anything with anybody at any time, at any place. And that's how I always want to make sure people are realized we do not need to put God into little boxes, but we let him do his thing. We get out of the way and let him move. And if we can't do that, then we're going to be a stumbling block and an impediment to what God wants to do. So if nothing else, the old is gone. This is a new day. We, we learn from the past. We build upon the past. Certain traditions are great. Certain others need to be left behind. They're no longer irrelevant, and we need to leave them back where they came from. A lot of them are man-made to begin with. Let's always focus on what the Lord has for us. Amen. Such a blessing to just know that God loves us all. He has room for all of us at his table. Well, friends, this will be a shorter, fresh bread. Again, I thank you for joining me today. Again, this is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church here in Topeka, Kansas. Hope to see you back tomorrow for more fresh bread. Until then, may God richly bless you is my prayer.